Hey Leo, it is CJ from CJ Soul Messages. I hope you are doing really, really great. Um, this reading is going to be for the second half of December 2021. Um, it will be a general read unless spirit guides me otherwise. Um, and we're just going to start to get into it. I'm going to open up with pulling a divine um, animal oracle for you. Um, and then we'll just move into the tarot, maybe pull a couple of oracles and um, yeah, close out the year with that. Hard to believe we're at the, almost at the end of 2021. Um, let's see, what else? Um, thank you, number one, so, so much for your support. I cannot express to you how full of gratitude I am for the support and love that you've given me, Leo. So uh, thank you so, so much. It means so much to me. Um, you know, I just really appreciate it and I appreciate you being here. So let's just get into this. Let's see what's going on with, for you for the remainder of the, um, of December, obviously time being fluid. Okay, spirit. So let's pull one card for our Leos for December, remainder of December, 2021 fire element. Let's see what they got. Bull. Okay. Bull is all about sacrifice. Wow. Uh, the card says sacrifice. Um, if you can see this card, hopefully you can see it pretty clearly. There is a huge ass storm going on behind the bull um, in the clouds. There's lightning everywhere. There is wind storms. It is, it's, it, this is pretty tumultuous energy. Um, hmm. And if I'm not correctly, if I'm not mistaken, I mean, Leo, I am pretty sure your December read was, it had the devil. And I believe that there was a lot, it was kind of a hard reading for me to give you guys because it was, it felt like you guys were really, really stuck in, in some kind of, stuck in some kind of toxic energy. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it was about, but let's, I'll just focus here. So the bull, uh, the card does say sacrifice. So maybe this is, you have been sacrificing a lot, or it also could be that you're going to be needing to make some sacrifices. But when I think about the bull and the energy I'm picking up off this card, I, I feel stubborn. <laughs> stubborn is just, it, it's, I can see the letters. I'm hearing stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. Um, what is stubborn here? Are you being stubborn? Um, Cause I feel like you, I feel like the spirit is wanting me to say this. I, gosh, I hope this isn't gonna be another hard reading. Um, but there's something here that's coming through that there's some stubbornness going on somewhere in your life and I almost feel like you are refusing to move off of your, your place, your, what you believe in, what, where you, you, from your stance. I feel like you are a bull and you are standing there and almost like kicking up dirt, refusing to kind of move almost with your head down. Um, I'm just going off of the vision that I'm getting in my, in my eyes. Um, do I like this bull? He looks pretty determined to not move in any way other than the way he wants to move and it seems to be causing some kind of really strong powerful kind of almost storm happening so let's see we'll 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 see how it unfolds it it really could be maybe you're standing up for something that you truly believe in and it, you're needing to use all your strength um and maybe there's been some sacrifice that you're gonna need to make or you have made um, I do want to say that um, at the beginning, uh, or sorry, December 19th, two things are happening. We're going to have a full moon in uh, Gemini. So that's all about communication. And we're also going to be having the planet of Venus going into retrograde on uh, December 19th until pretty much the end of January. So that is going to bring up a lot of energy about relationships. Um, about how we communicate. And when I say relationships, it could be romantic, it could be friends, family, coworkers, um, you know, et cetera. Uh, so just keep that in mind as we go through this reading. Hmm, all right, let's see. Okay, so Spirit, what do you have for Leo? <clears throat> I'm gonna do a three card spread. I like the way it's been going. I like the energy I, um, I receive. So we're just gonna keep going with that one. So we're gonna get three cards, one past, one present, and one future. Please apply it where it may fit because everyone's on a different timeline. Uh, so, all right, this is for the latter part of December for Leo, the beautiful fire sign. All right, what do we get? Okay, we've got eight of wands. Wow, fast movement, something message maybe coming in. 
something. Eight of Wands, very fast, but we'll speak about it when we pull out the rest. Wow, we got the Empress, love that. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles, two eights here. Interesting. Working hard on something. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Swords. Okay. All right. Let's start. So, past. And, and please take what does fit and let the rest go um, and apply it wherever it may fit in your life. This could be love, career, you know, etc. But we start off with the Eight of Wands. Pretty powerful kind of energy card here. Wands is your element, right? It is fire. It is our passions. It is the way, though, that we actually move in our life. It is our action. The actions we take or the actions we don't take. So the Eight of Wands, wow. Okay, so this is interesting. Um, the reason I'm saying this is interesting because this deck is the Mermaid deck and it's a little, it's different, right? Every deck has a different meaning, um, but with each card. But Eight of Wands is typically uh, representing something happening fast, something coming in fast, something moving fast. It's just, and it's focused. But this card, the energy I'm picking up um, is a bit different, Leo, because it's, there's a volcano underneath the water and it almost is representing a tower kind of, um, except I'm going to say it's a volcano. That's the energy I'm really picking up here. There's a volcano and there seems to be these uh, wands of fire that are exploding out of this volcano. And the woman, the, the mermaid on the card, it's almost like she's trying to catch, she's trying to catch them. Um, so, I typically would tell you that there's going to be something coming in quite quickly and that could very well be. There could be something coming in, maybe it's a message that you're going to get and maybe that's going to change things for you. Um, but, but there's movement here. There is some kind of movement. Maybe you are making a choice um, and you're becoming aware of a choice that you need to make for yourself that is leaving the fiery volcano, whatever that might represent for you. Um, and deciding to go a different direction, deciding, making a conscious choice to start to go a different direction and up, to move upward. Because we have the Empress that comes out in the present. Now the Empress, beautiful. This is, um, you know, sh she is coupled up with the Emperor, which is, you know, um, Aries, which is a fire, um, a fire sign just like you but the Empress is all about something growing something being birthed it you know she is usually pregnant in the Empress um, pregnant with whatever a new idea a new thought process a new career a new relationship whatever um, and it usually has um, a harvest attached to it it's beautiful energy it is powerful energy it is um, knowing energy it is a grounding feeling where you feel balanced and you feel in harmony with yourself. So it feels like there is this switch that may be coming for you, that something changes for you here. I don't know if you have an aha moment um, where you see something really clear, um, but it feels like it brings you to this place where you are start to feel more content. Um, and maybe the, the bull showing up here is representing you making the decision to release whatever, whatever was maybe keeping you kind of in the volcano, um, a mind, a mindset, a, a, uh, a behavior pattern, um, could even be a person but it's something something is something is shifting here for you the this l last couple of weeks of december it could be a message that comes in that really shakes you shakes you up wakes you up enough that you decide to change your perspective and that then brings you to this promise of really starting to switch things switch gears um, and really start to feel better in yourself if you haven't been feeling very great with, about yourself or where you are in your life. Um, you know, again, I keep seeing this word sacrifice, but I'm really kind of picking up, I'm sure some of you Leos have sacrificed a hell of a lot, right? Um, of course, 
you are the lion, right? You do love big. Um, but something with the sacrifice word is, are you maybe, maybe you are sacrificing holding on to what you knew or what you thought, where you thought you wanted to be. And maybe you are deciding to make this sacrifice decision to now leave it in the past and move in a different direction. Because the Eight of Wands are really feeling like she is leaving the volcano and she is catching the um, wand and she's allowing it to take her up to the surface. Because this is what this is the bottom of the ocean here. She here's the light. You can see the sun coming in here. Your card, right? The sun. So basically, I can feel the sun is over here, at the very top, and she's swimming towards it because she's made a decision. Um, made a decision to, I feel, leave some stuff, heavy stuff in the past. Now, future is eight of pentacles. Pentacles are our tangible things. It is the earth element, um, and it is our self-confidence as well as our money. Um, I'm really feeling here for a lot of you Leos, this is going to be about self-confidence, could be about money, um, but whatever. The eight of pentacles is about really working hard. You're working hard to make a change now and you, it feels like you're dedicating yourself a lot more to making this change to really trying to stay in this, this Empress, um, energy, which is beautiful and growing. And like I said, very balanced, very nurturing, very loving, but peaceful. Peaceful is the word I want to say. Um, I feel like you are going to be working hard, um, at bringing this into your life. I like that. And I do feel, Leo, that for some of you, for sure, there's probably a lot of people around that are going to be kind of like cheering you on, perhaps even helping from the sidelines. Um, because there's a lot of different energies here on this card. We, I mean, we've got a deer, which is interesting because we have a bull, totally drawn to the, to the horns here, the antlers, just like the um, bull. Um, but there's, you know, there's butterflies, which is transformation. Um, and they're all working together. There's like a dog over here, or maybe it's a coyote or a wolf, um, a frog, but they're all working together to, to create some kind of bounty, some kind of harvest. Beautiful, really, really beautiful. So underneath the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. Um, <clears throat> so, <laughs> so Seven of Swords, Swords is our intellect, it is the air element, and it is about how we communicate, how we think, how we speak, you know, thought, um, thought, what's the word? Thought programs. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, the way we think, I don't know why I'm kind of getting a little, um, tongue tied here, but seven of swords is usually about trickery and robbery and stealing and theft. And, um, the energy I'm really picking up here though, is it's like you've been stealing from yourself. You've been stealing, you, whether you know this or not, um, I do feel like you've been stealing from yourself. Uh, you've been keeping yourself um, in a place where you have maybe felt like you've been the one sacrificing a lot. And for some of you Leos, yeah, you probably, you have. But I'm picking up on this other energy that you feel like you've made a lot of sacrifices. Um, have you looked around to see how other people have sacrificed for you? Um, sounds harsh, I know, but I'm really getting that energy here. Have you seen things legitimately uh, the way it is? Because I do feel like there's been people around you really trying to help you uh, um, to get to a a better a better place. And I kind of feel like you've maybe just been kind of stealing from yourself. Um, from maybe some negative feelings you have about yourself, maybe some, some things that someone in your past has told you and you've believed. Um, but it is, I, I don't feel like someone else is stealing from you here. I do feel like this is a trickery that you have perhaps done upon yourself. Um, this is, again, this is just one of those crazy readings that I don't really love to give, but I got to give it to you. Um, but the beautiful thing is, Leo, <clears throat> if you are right relating to this, I know that you're a very confident sign and you're a beautiful sign and um, you're very loving. So please take this reading that I mean well here. I'm, I, I, I mean really well. 
Be the most beautiful you that you can possibly be. Don't allow anything that has been negative and toxic um, stop you from shining like the true sun that you are, you know? Um, don't, don't let it anymore. It is now time to really start embracing your beauty and all that you have and all the good things that you have in your life because there's a lot of people here, a lot of people. And if you can do this again, you get the 10 of cups. 10 of cups is underneath the seven of swords. So it is saying there's a change of perspective, a way of seeing things, of looking at things, of communicating yourself, change the way you speak to yourself, change the way that you actually um, perhaps have been believing um, something, something, there's something here from a past or something that there's been a pattern of thinking that has really, I feel kept it, kept you really just not seeing clear. Now, when you can change this and you decide to leave this volcanic shit, this eruption of what feels not very positive, and you go after, like, I'm gonna get to the top here because I wanna go to the sun, it changes everything for you. Because 10 of Cups is beautiful life. This is having, you know, money and family and loved ones and um, people that really enjoy being with you and being happy and feeling content. It, it doesn't get much better than the Ten of Cups. You know, Cups is the water element. It is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And Cups is about our emotions and our relationships with others and with ourselves. So this could, and normally Ten of Cups to me is about, um, it's more of a coupling. So maybe this is going to be bringing you a, um, a better relationship if you're in a committed relationship, or may, like maybe it's gonna shift all of that. Maybe it's gonna be bringing someone into your world that you're gonna be able to have this kind of energy with in the near future. So different than the Seven of Swords. Such a different energy. And underneath that is just confirming again, Six of Swords making that decision to change the way you're living your life, change the way you're thinking, you know, whatever that is for you. Um, it could be cutting people out, it could be cutting, um, you know, addictions or something like that out, it could be changing, just changing things up and getting really clear in your mind. Then it moves you from really shit kind of bumpy roads to very smoother, a smoother foundation. And that's what Six of Swords is. It is about moving away from the rocky crap. And underneath that, we have Six of Pentacles. Wow. Six of Pentacles. Beautiful. This is now equal give and take. This is a balance now. It's literally like, um, it, it just is every, all the relationships are going to be so much more balanced. So much of what you put out there, you will receive. And what you, um, what you receive, you will put out there. I love this. This is gorgeous. And underneath that is King of Cups. So, wow, King of Cups and King of Pentacles. Holy shit. This is power. And it doesn't matter if you're male or female at all because it's just the energy of the cards. King of Cups, becoming completely balanced again in your emotions. Feeling very, very healthy emotionally. Um, and really just like allowing yourself to love yourself again. Uh, and being the king. You know, and if you're female, well, you're still, you're owning that energy, still protective and nurturing and all of that, but very grounded in the waters, in the emotions. And underneath that is the King of Pentacles, which is getting complete your, oh shoot, I'm sorry, Leo, the light keeps glaring. I mean, King of Pentacles is the earth element. So completely grounded, completely feet on the ground now. This is completely emotionally grounded. Um, and King of Pentacles is, you know, money coming in, having enough money. Um, it can be also, you know, very nurturing, uh, again, but in a very beautifully grounded way. Powerful cards here. And underneath that is the Seven of Cups. Okay, so Seven of Cups is a lot of options, but we're going to leave it there because I feel like that's, I've gone quite far into the deck here. Let's just get some clarifiers. Hope this is making some sense to you, Leah. Um, I just feel like you're really going to start getting clear. That is if you want to, right? We all have um, our free will. Um, and I think you're just going to start seeing things a little bit more, more, more truthful. You're going to be more truthful with yourself. I just wanted to see. 
Oh, okay. All right, Spirit, what else do we have for Leo for the last part of December 2021 regarding this reading? All right, we're ready. Four of Swords, see? Yes. Okay, and that's coming out under the Eight of Wands. Uh, Eight of Wands, we've got two Eight of Wands now. This is, wow, okay. And then we have King of Cups, two King of Cups in this reading. Okay, and then you have the Queen of Cups on the bottom. All right, so, wow, for some of you, if this is, um, whatever, if this is about a committed relationship that you're in or that you are wanting, because I kind of feel like this might be for your future here because the King of Cups is going in, is in the position of future. Queen of Cups is on the bottom. This is a coupling that is perfectly paired. Um, he is looking at her. Don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but he is. He's looking over at her and he is in awe of her and she is just like on and on him and it's a beautiful union. Um, <clears throat> so if you are interested in finding love or if you are in a relationship that may has been a little bit rocky, maybe a little bit unbalanced, um, I feel like you're going to get your your mojo back or a new person is going to be coming into your life and I think it's going to be a really good partnership. The thing is here though is you've really got to kind of, I just feel like you need to kind of change some kind of uh, something that has been keeping you stuck because when we go to the past again with the Eight of Wands, Four of Swords came up. Now Four of Swords is a feeling of needing to take some time out to rest, to recuperate, to heal. Um, after some kind of painful thing, you know, uh, it could be a painful experience. It could be something that goes way back in your past, <clears throat> but something that has caused you a lot of injury. And that injury, I feel, has kept you really kind of stuck in this volcano. Um, so if you then make this choice that you are going to do something different underneath the Empress, the Eight of Wands comes out saying it will move quite quickly. I don't think you could even um, anticipate how quickly your life can change for such, for, for the better really. If you can see this, the sun is over here um, and that is your card. I keep talking about the sun, but all of these wands are headed straight right over to this one point. They all are lining up to this one point because that is the uh, focus. This is where you want to go. And if you can see here, they're all going up towards the Empress, feeling completely full of beautiful things, feeling completely sated and happy and peaceful. I do like this reading, how this is turning around. And, there, and if you're wondering what does she keep saying about like me having this bad attitude or not seeing the truth of things, because the Seven of Swords is here. And the Seven of Swords is, you know, it's a pretty, it's not, I don't like that energy. It does remind me kind of of the devil energy. It's sneaky. Um, but I just feel like this is more of you, Leo, not another person could be reverse. This could be a cross watcher reading, uh, but I, you know, I'm doing it for Leo. So King of Cups comes out underneath Eight of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. Spirit is reminding you, Leo, if you work really hard at this, at really just changing your directive, um, you are going to be so balanced. Emotionally, you're gonna feel so good again. Maybe you have never felt as good as you possibly can that is waiting for you. Um, underneath the Queen of Cups is the Ace of Coins. Here's this promise of the new beginning. Aces all are a promise of a beginning, a brand new, beautiful beginning. But this Ace of um, Pentacles, Coins, this can also be a windfall. So maybe something changes here that really makes you allow so much good stuff to come in your way and you won't be stealing from yourself anymore. I love it. It's beautiful. And underneath that is the Queen of Wands. Well, you've got a lot of um, 
you know, king, queen, um, two queens, ace. It's a pretty powerful reading here. Queen of Wands, again, independent, happy. I know my camera really wipes out this card, so you're probably not really going to see it very well. Um, but happy, content, very passionate about the, the journey that she uh, has now gotten to of being the queen, just loving life again. And the sun is shining above over her head. Um, so that's you. Underneath that is the five of wands. So it is really about, there's been a lot of conflict going on. I feel within you, could be with another person, but I do feel this conflict has existed within you for quite a long time. And you have not been clear of which way you want to go. You've, I feel like you've held on to things a lot. Um, and then you have, Pay temperance underneath. So this is Sagittarius card. Uh, fellow fire sign. Temperance is all about patience um, and keeping yourself centered. But you have to have patience with yourself if you are relating to this reading. Underneath that is the hangman suggesting again, you got to see things from a different view. I swear the hangman was in your other reading for December. So there's, I feel like there's going to be a lot of progress for you this month that is available that is going to really change the way your life continues to go forward in a really beautiful way, Leo. You have to allow it to come in though. You have to be mindful of making this decision. I almost actually want to pull out of the, the um, my animal deck. I, I want to read what bull sacrifice means. So please be patient with me. Um, I'm just really, really curious because I gave you the energy that I'm picking up off this card. There might be a message in here that Spirit really wants me to give you because I know that this has been a little bit of a harder reading and I do, I'm pretty damn sure the other one was pretty hard too. So, okay, this is what it says. Sacrifice. All worthwhile things mean we must sacrifice something. Martyr drum. How do you say this? Martyr drum? Meaning being a martyr. I'll say it like that. Being a martyr rarely is a good choice. It is good to trust your tribe. I feel like you've got people around you that are your tribe. Have faith that all will be well. Give and take and offering, recipro I can't speak, reciprocity and offering to do something bigger than you is a powerful act. So, re holy hell, I am so tongue tied. Reciprocity is all about give and take. It is the balance of the six of coins that we have in this reading and offering to an offering to something bigger than you is a powerful act. Um, God, I hope I didn't just confuse you guys more than I probably have already in this reading. I, I, I think I'm just going to leave it like there with the bull because I just feel like, you know, it is it's one thing when you sacrifice, but it's another thing if you're telling yourself that you're sacrificing all the time and that you're the one making all the, you know, sacrifices and giving up everything. There's just a feeling here that there's a need to get really clear on that because is that really the truth? Um, is that really the truth? Because I feel like there's a lot of people that have been helping you, that are supporting you, that want to help you along this journey, but I do feel like you've been stealing from yourself. You've been keeping, you've been kind of doing some trickery here. And I do feel it's been trickery on yourself that has kept you from moving, but I do feel you're going to start to make this choice to actually go to go a different d direction. You are going to have this kind of an awakening um, come in and it is really going to center you again. And a lot of good things are going to enter your world once again, once you can do this and be patient with yourself because it's not an easy, it's never easy to go through transformation. It's never easy to admit when we're wrong or when we've been stuck on something. Um, and it's not always easy to um, even see if someone else is doing this too. Sometimes it's not always easy to see that either. Um, but it, this reading is saying it is really about getting very, very clear. Um, that's just so the energy that I am picking up here. Um, yeah, I think that's about as far as I want to go. Temperance, the hangman. Oh, okay. Wheel, so hangman, wheel of fortune. So wheel of fortune is here. Whatever way you choose, Leo, you can have it all or you can have what you already have, what you have right now. And if this reading is making sense to you, um, I'm thinking again, you want to have it all and you can have it all. 
but it is going to take some effort. It is going to take some work and be patient with yourself. And you know, um, you will find your harvest. You will be the empress. So I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to just pull one card I feel out of the moonology. I think that would be nice and see if spirit has anything else for you, Leo. This reading has probably gone way too long. Holy crap, 30 minutes. Okay. Um, I hope I didn't lose you guys in this. All right, let's see. Nothing is yet set in stone. I love this for you. Beautiful. Nothing is yet set in stone, Leo. If there's something that has been making you really unhappy and you've felt, I, I really think I'm picking up on um, the December read here. Um, if there's something that you've really been feeling crappy about in your life, nothing is set in stone. You have a lot of time to be able to make this transition into exactly what it is that you want. Exactly what you want. And bottom of the deck is surrender to the divine. Definitely a message saying that spirit wants you to make a choice here um, of which way you want to go. Surrender to the divine. Very powerful. Ask your spirit guides, your angels, your loved ones, the divine, whatever it is that you believe in, ask them to assist you on this journey. And they will. They will help you. They're asking you. They've just said, surrender to the divine. So, um, pretty clear here. One card from Treasures from Takashi, and then I'll close this reading off for you. I do like it. There's a lot of beautiful promises here for you. All right. A lot. There really is. You know, and we all have to go through hard things, and we all have to, like, Sometimes just admit when we are stuck in a bad pattern. It's okay. It's how we learn. Support. Wow. Support and delight. Okay, we're going to leave it like this. Okay. Support has come out for you, Leo. Giving support and allowing support expands who you are. Do not see requiring support as failure. Ask for support when you need it but do not abuse the support of others. You are an integral, integral, oh my gosh, integral link in the chain of all beingness. Everything and everyone is connected. Nothing works in isolation. Allow support to reinforce your strengths. Be encouraged to support yourself and your endeavors. I l see, there we go, that's it. That's the energy I was feeling. You are not alone, you have a lot of support here. A lot from either, people here on this earth in your life right now as well as divine support if you need help ask for it i feel you people will help you energy will help you at the same time help others as well it's beautiful to give back it's a beautiful way to keep things balanced and on the bottom of the deck is delight enchantment occurs when you least expect it Open yourself to the charm of the world and tingle with delight. Have no expectations and life is captivatingly beautiful. Look in the mirror and give yourself the gift of delight as you see who you truly are. That's the Empress here. This is where you can be. For those of you who resonate with this reading and haven't been feeling that way, maybe for a very long time, that is what is waiting for you. So Leo, I love this reading. You get to choose which way you want to go. Um, but there is a lot of promise of beautiful things to enter your life moving forward if you can just really surrender to it. Okay, I hope you found this reading insightful. insightful. I really um, apologize for all my mouths. I don't know what's going on. I can't get the words out. Blah, blah, blah. I um, don't know what the problem is. <laughs> so thank you for my, your patience. I do really hope that this makes sense for you. And I, again, appreciate your support. Thank you for being here, listening, all of it, sub subscribing. I'm going to stop here because I feel like my mouth is just going to continue to spew out stupid words. So I wish you a beautiful rest of the end, end of the month, last two weeks of December. And if you celebrate the holidays, really enjoy it. I hope to see you here in the new year, 2022. And uh, love you guys so much. Again, many blessings. Take care.